Emily's been in New York um, doing a photography internship. Um, I'm, she like finished college in Bristol and kind of found something she loved doing. She sort of went off and did it. Um, well, we when we finished the last series, we thought there was like all like rumours of something else after that. So like I kind of for like a year and a bit, we were all like, okay, maybe something else is going to happen. But then, um, then sort of there was the next cast, and we were like, okay, like you know. Um, so I I sort of thought that okay, we weren't doing anything. So then when I got a call about it. I was really surprised. Happy, but really surprised. Um, well, obviously I only worked on Effie's one, so I didn't work on all of them. But, um, I mean, it felt similar in that I was working with Lily and Kaya and like lots of the same people again. Um, but it felt really, really different and weird at the same time because we were, well, number one, we were in Manchester, um, not Bristol. Um, and, uh, yeah, it felt like a lot more grown up but it felt like doing like the characters justice because people aren't just, you know, people all do grow up, hopefully, from what they were when they were younger. And it's interesting, especially with Effie, I think what she does now is very interesting, like to how she lived when she was younger. I didn't want to dye my hair red again, because not because I didn't like having red hair, but that was my first thing. I was like, I cannot dye my hair again because it will fall out. Um, but yeah, no, it was, it was, like I wanted to do it always, but um, but it was really strange. But after I read the script, like I had initial like worries about bringing it back up again. Cause obviously they had, especially Emily and Naomi had such a nice tied up story in the last series. Um, but then, but when I read the script for this one, I was like, oh, okay, actually no, yeah, I really like it because it's, it's a lot more grown up and it's not. Like it's got the same elements of humour and stuff that make it like skin's humour kind of thing. But, and the like styling and stuff is still very like skin's. But, um, but it's a lot more grown up and it's a lot more, yeah, serious. Uh, I sort of, I looked at my DVD covers. Not because like, I, yeah, I looked at my old DVD covers and like thought like, and tried to sort of think back over the past, like what had happened before. But then just to sort of get back in the thing of her and uh, like Emily and Naomi. But also there's been so much time in between that um, that it wasn't, I didn't think it was as important to know exactly what had, you know, gone on because that wouldn't be as fresh in Emily's mind either because that was it like two years ago still for her. Um, so I just started to think about what she'd, yeah, what she'd been doing in those two years. And for that I could make up pretty much wanted except she had to be in New York and do photography. What Skins was like my my sort of I don't want to say break but Skins was like the thing my first um, sort of big job me and Meg did an episode of Doctors before that um, but apart from that like yeah it was the first like big job that I'd done so in that and it was um, you know how I got my agent um, so it's meant meant a lot to me. I've met like so many like really cool people from it who I still speak to. Um, yeah, made some like really good friends. And it just it was like I, I mean I always wanted to go to drama school, and I but I came to a, the realization that I just couldn't afford it. About a couple of months before, um, I'd got the part in Skins, so it literally it was like so I was so lucky to get it because um, yeah it was like the best drama school ever. 